Hi, my name is Mr. Johns and welcome to Dance and Drama Matters. Today's question is, what is a dance? What is a dance? Hmm? Do you know? What is it? Tell me. Stop hoarding the secrets, I want to know. Tell me, I want to know how to dance. Tell me, I want to know. So our learning intention today is to be able to move different body parts. So when you're doing your learning today, I want you to be thinking, hmm, we're learning about moving different body parts. When you're dancing, the one thing you're moving is your body. So it's one of the main elements of dance. Say it after me, ready? Body. Three, two, one. Body. Good, awesome. So we're learning to move our body and the different parts of our body. Let's do a warm up by moving some of our different body parts. Start by just moving only your finger. Don't move anything else. Now, just move your hand. Keep everything else still. Now keep your hand still and only move your forearm. Now, move your shoulder. Keep everything else still. Now, move your whole arm together. Go. Move your fingers, move your hand, move your forearm, your elbow, and your shoulder. All together. Good. Next, we're going to just move our toes. So, only move your toes. Then your feet. Then your knees. Now move your whole leg all together. Next you have to move your eyes. Move nothing else but your eyes. Go. Next. Move your nose, nothing else. Awesome. And last, we've got to move our mouth. So. Is that weird? <laughs> now, move your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and your head all at one time. Go. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move our upper body. So, move your left arm, the whole arm, fingers, hand, forearm, elbow, and your shoulder. All of it. Now, move your other one on the other side. Now just your head. Now move everything on your head, your head, and both of your arms all at one time. You ready? Go. This is making me look really weird, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Well, maybe because I am a little bit weird. And last, we're gonna move our arms, our legs, our shoulders, our head, everything on our face, everything. We're gonna move it all at one time and see how many different poses you can come up with. All right, off you go. And our last little bit of the warm up, we're gonna play a game called Dead Cockroaches. Yeah, dead cockroaches. Yeah, if I call out dead cockroaches, then this is what you have to do. If I call out fish, then this is what you have to do. If I call out dynamite, this is what you've gotta do. Five, four, three, two, one, boom! <laughs> And if I yell out sprinter, then this is what you need to do. Ready, set, go! Get ready. 
and dead cockroaches. Sprinter. Dynamite Fish Today's task is you need to think of an everyday body movement. So that could be brushing your teeth, or getting out of bed, or eating your cereal, or even getting dressed for the day. You think of what one is the best one for you. Once you have that everyday movement, I'm gonna pick getting dressed for the day. Once you have that everyday movement, then what I want you to do is go away spend a little bit of time and act it out. See what it looks like when you're acting it out. This is what mine looks like. It doesn't have to be fancy, just whatever you think. So think about an everyday movement. Once again, could be eating cereal, getting dressed, anything you want. Go act it out and then come back. Welcome back. How'd you go? Were you able to act out your everyday movement? If so, then you're ready for our next challenge. Do you remember how I said our learning intention was to be able to move different body parts? Well, how you're going to be successful with that is if you can isolate each body part. So what does isolate mean? Isolate in dance means to only move that one body part at a time. So with mine, I'm moving my legs, I'm moving my arms, I'm moving everything. And if I'm going to be successful at this, I need to isolate one body part. I know, I'm going to isolate my hands. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Did you see? I was able to isolate only my hands by pulling up from the ground. What about if I isolated just my legs? Awesome, so now it's your go. You need to isolate your body parts. So go back, do your everyday movement again, but this time I want you to think about what body parts are you moving and have a go at only moving one body part at a time. See how you go. Once you're done, then find someone to show and perform it for them. And it's a really, really good idea if you film it while you're doing it, because that means you can look back at it afterwards and see what you look like. Cool, well done, you're all done for today. I'm sure you did an awesome job. The last thing that we need to do today is we need to have a think back over our learning and think whether we were successful or not, whether we did a really, really good job. So the first thing I want you to do, if you filmed it, I want you to watch it over again. So that way you can have a look through and you can watch yourself and see how you went. Then you need to answer this question. How well were you able to isolate the different body parts? That's it for today. Thanks for joining me for Dance and Drama Matters and I'll see you next week. Bye.